Hey, what's going on guys? It's Mike from Mobox. And before we get started, I just wanna let you know that we did create a new curated music channel called Mobox Music. I highly recommend you go over and check that out. Anyways, let's take a look at what we're creating in After Effects today. And it is this kind of glass cube effect in After Effects. You're gonna to want to watch our animated background video number three before, because some of the uh, pieces of this video were made already in that tutorial. So let's go ahead and jump into After Effects and I'll show you what I mean. So back in that animated background tutorial, we created this kind of looping animated background. So um, if you want this, you're going to need to go watch that video or you could just download the project file on our Patreon account if you want to just skip to this step. Um, so, okay, so let's go ahead and start off. This layer is by the way called tutorial background. I'm just gonna go into my project panel and hit Control D and double click and open this up. And I'm gonna change the background color to kind of a really, really almost, you know, super light color like that. And I am going to uh, create a layer, color composition, new composition, 25, 60 by 14, 40, 60 frames a second, 10 seconds is fine. I'm gonna hit okay. And I'm just going to drag in my tutorial background and my tutorial background uh, too. Now what I notice here is that these compositions are actually 1920 by 1080. Um, so I'm actually just going to change the composition settings on here to 1920 by 1080. With this effect, you don't really wanna do any, any scaling or you don't wanna to do too much scaling. So I'm just going to do this um, in 1920 by 1080 this time. So I'm now gonna actually create a new composition though. 1920 by 1080 is fine. 10 seconds is also fine, but I'm gonna go over to 3D renderer and yours should say classic 3D, um, but I'm gonna change it to Cinema 4D. This makes it a lot easier to create cubes within After Effects. So I'm gonna create a square. If I hold shift, I'll ensure that it remains square. And I'm gonna drag this into the center of the composition, or I'm actually gonna just use this align tool. This align tool, if you don't have it, windows align. So now that I have this cube, um, I'm gonna uh, actually make just the background uh, toggle transparency so it's black so I can actually see the shape. But I do want this, this square to be white. Um, I need it to be white. But what I also need is for it to be 3D. So I'm gonna make it 3D here. And that's kind of annoying to make that to have that orange. So uh, I'm like a dog. I just can't keep my uh, attention straight. But I'm gonna open up the material properties or I'm sorry, the geometric properties, and I'm gonna need probably four views here. But basically, I'm going to extrude this out. So I'm gonna extrude this out until it looks about square. It's not gonna be perfect, but it's gonna be pretty close. Um, I could add some grids here to help me out. So we're looking at uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, times two is 18. So we are going to need to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Wow, I was pretty close. And I'm just going to increase that. And then I'm going to come up to this pan tool and move the anchor point over by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Just move it over right there. So now I have a square but I'm also now going to move this square into the center of the composition within the Z direction. So that looks pretty close. It doesn't have to be perfect. I'm gonna go back to my one view and I'm gonna hit Control S so I can save my composition. Again, After Effects is extraordinarily buggy and it crashes all the time. So you wanna make sure you remember that, that keyboard shortcut, Control S. So now I'm gonna just add some crazy rotations here, but you'll notice that this composition is 10 seconds long, just the same length as this composition here because I want it to loop fully. So I'm gonna hit R on the keyboard and set rotational keyframes. And I'm gonna to go to the end here and I am going to add some rotation. Set this to one, hitting tab one, and then maybe 180. So this kind of rotates. I'm just gonna make sure it loops properly. And it does, you can see there that it ends and loops around just as you would expect. But um, okay, so to get the actual glass effect, I need each of these walls to kind of be a different color. I could do this by 
uh, making them individual layers, but honestly, that's kind of annoying. The easier way to do it is just go to layer, new, light. And I'm going to add a parallel light. And I'm just going to drag this out, kind of move it around. And I'm going to duplicate it by hitting control D. And I'm going to set one maybe on the other side. Basically, my goal here is to make sure that all three of these sides have a different luminance level. So I don't want them all to be kind of the same color at the same time. Right there, those two get a, those get kind of close. And right there, those two get kind of close. So let me... So I think that looks pretty cool, just like that. Um, so now I'm going to actually just rename this composition probably to cube comp, cube comp tutorial, because I already have another cube comp. And I'm gonna rename this composition here to tutorial. Um, so now I'm gonna drag my cube comp into here. And I think that that cube's a little large, so I'm just gonna jump back here, hit S on the keyboard, and just drag that down. So I like that. And see, because he gets spinning, that's awesome. Um, okay, so on my background, I'm gonna name this back white, and then the other background is my pink one. And I'm going to change this to alpha mat. So you can see there that now it's it's kind of, and that actually looks pretty cool itself. But um, I'm just gonna add one more effect here and it's gonna be displacement. Um, displacement map, I'm gonna put that on the turbulent background and set it to the cube. Set these to uh, lightness or luminance. Uh, I'm just gonna try luminance first. It may be lightness that I want it to be. And then I'm just going to increase these in both directions. I'm gonna save it. And let's see, maybe I want that to be zero. Nope, that's fine. And now as this spins, okay, so that kind of looks funky. That doesn't really look right, which is a little bit annoying because it takes so long to render. <laughs> so I'm gonna actually uh, cheat a little bit. I'm gonna go to my example comp and see what settings I used. So again, if you download the project file, you will get um, you know, my test versions as well. So I used 50 and 50. Maybe that's just the best option here. Maybe they have to be the same. And then let's see what else, just to be safe, make sure I have the right ones. I did wrap around pixels and I used effects and masks, that may be the trick. So let me sit back and render this bad boy one more time, but uh, before I do that, I'm actually, uh, I'm kind of thinking that the background needs to be a little lighter. So I'm gonna add a new background here, drag it to the bottom, and I'm gonna kind of bring down the transparency here, just so the background's a little bit lighter. Kind of like that, that looks pretty cool. I'm gonna just render this out. Okay, so I actually think that that looks really awesome. The last thing I would do probably was add a film grain over top of this um, to just kind of finish off the look. But it, again, you know, I talk about this all the time. It just really just, it just really, really makes a lot of uh, rendering, increased rendering time, unfortunately. Um, so let's see, maybe since it's already rendered, it, it won't take as long and it doesn't look like it is. So that's nice. Um, it's at least now it's GPU accelerated, which is great. Um, so anyways, I think that that looks pretty cool. You could imagine creating something in Cinema 4D, let's say a 3D rotating skull or something um, that's white and black, you know, like, uh, you know, like the cube and adding it to this and getting a really, really cool, um, you know, kind of glass effect. Now I haven't done anything that doesn't have um, flat surfaces, but it would be something interesting to test out. 
Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to check out the project file on Patreon and share with your friends. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching.